All right, so I am all set up. I'm just waiting for dark now and we're going to shoot Andromeda. So we'll see how it goes. And the first thing that annoys me right away is that now I have to use a, a guide scope for this setup um, because with this camera, I don't have a, a wide enough uh, OAG. So I have no choice but to use a, a guide scope. So we'll see how this goes. It's been a while since I used one, um, but yeah. And uh, hopefully it's going to be a nice image. The last time we imaged M31 was four years ago with our DSLR camera. I love how the colors turned out, but the overall image wasn't very crisp. Just in case you didn't know, um, if you have a car like this one, where the lights are always on when you open the trunk or the, the door, you should have a uh, some kind of um, little knob here that you can um, move, right? And if you go all the way down, Normally, all the lights will be off at any time. So even if you open the doors, the lights will stay off. So my friend Rory is here with me, and a good thing he has is that I don't have any, uh, sadly, is uh, snake boots. So if there is snakes around, oh, yeah. um, well, <laughs> don't scare me. <laughs> If there is any snakes around, it's going to be protected. I've seen like a hundred this month. Yeah. So you, you've seen a hundred snakes? Yeah. I've seen zero all my life. But maybe tonight is going to change. I don't think this is snake land right here. Yeah. So. I mean, this is horse land. There's horse bones everywhere. But, um... And so, oh, you brought your uh, six inch reflector. ASI 6200 Mono Pro. Huge filter wheel and a 16-inch reflector. It's going to be a nice field of view. So my um, leveling is really bad right now, but it should be fine because normally, as long as you pull the line properly, uh, you shouldn't have any problems tracking as long as you're, you know, uh, polar aligned. So even though this is not level, uh, hopefully it will be fine. We'll see. So right now I am trying to focus um, using the uh, night crawler. I really, really love this thing. As you can see here, the stars look pretty much in focus. And I'm going to click on uh, run. And now it's automatically trying to find the best focus, which is amazing. All right, guys, so I have no idea if you can see me right now, um, but I'm finishing up with the focusing right now. And then I'm going to slew to M31, so the Andromeda Galaxy. And I think I plan to image it for about four hours. So, um, once this is done, I'm going to go back in the car and I actually brought my sleeping bag, I'll show you later. But I'm going to try to finally sleep in the car and then we'll see if it's possible. And here we go. So as you can see, it is done focusing. So it's going to focus every, every hour or so. And uh, yeah, awesome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and slew to M31 now. There we go. Right here comes the first shot. So here is the first three minute shot of the Andromeda Galaxy. Looks pretty, pretty good. Um, mainly concern is of course the bright halo here. I mean the bright core, which might give us a halo uh, later uh, on the computer. So I'm hoping that is not going to be the case, but sadly it might. So uh, on top of doing this, I'll probably do like 30 second exposures just for the core later, but we'll see. I'm taking some shots of the telescope with the Milky Way behind because the Milky Way is setting and... Uh, ooh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Milky Way season is pretty much over now. It is sad, but that also means that Orion season is about to start, so it's all good. For me, the least exciting season for this hobby has always been spring, as it is just mostly galaxies up there. Alright, so here I brought a pillow and a cover and then this thing here so I can sleep on it. 
and hopefully I can for once in my life have a good night in the car. I woke up every hour or so to check on the guiding, but instead of getting out of the sleeping bag, I did something very smart. I turned on cellular data sharing on my phone and connected the laptop to it. Then I used my phone to remotely control the laptop so I could see the screen. Midway through the night, I decided to switch to M45, the Pleiades, and spent about three and a half hours on it. Here is the result. Alright guys, I'm waking up right now. I'm going to have a, a nice sunrise over there. I actually woke up a lot of times throughout the night. I cannot feel my bones. My bones are dead because this thing is really, really bad. So I bought this thing, but it's, it's really bad. Like this is, this is not good. So I need to get something better uh, to sleep on. Um, because my bones right now are like completely dead. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a nice sunrise and uh, I should take flats now. So let's take some flats. Alright, it's the morning right now and I'm going to take some flats and this is what I'm going to use. There's a flat panel, I think I showed you guys once before. It's pretty easy, actually I don't even know if I need that because there is so much light out there. I don't think I actually need the panel. But anyway, I have a t-shirt here that I'm going to use either way. But if it was too dark outside, I'd have used this panel here, which is a light panel. But for tonight, for, for this morning, let's try just with a t-shirt for now. First, I'm going to uh, slew it towards uh, towards sunrise, I guess. Let's see, to the east. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <sighs> what a night, and I got so cold. It was really, really cold. I'm gonna take a random 0 0.25 second exposure and see. Just at random, and we're gonna look at the histogram. And our goal is to have the histogram in the center. It's not too bad, it's just too bright. So I, I would need a t shirt. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm going to go now. Uh, I think it was a good night. I think it was a very successful night. My only concern is when I go home and when I stack everything, will there be any um, halo around the bright areas? So this is my concern. And I guess we'll have to find out soon. But besides this, um, everything went fine. So <sighs> we'll see, right? I'm going to pack now, hopefully I'm going to go very quick and then uh, I'll go home. My ultimate goal is to one day build my own observatory in the desert. There will be no more packing, no more setting up, no more polar lining and more. I would add a bed, a TV, and everything needed for a full weekend stay. Will this goal ever be met? If you stick around for, I don't know, 5 or 10 years, you'll find out. Alright, it is time to take some dogs, so uh, I'm going to close the blinds first. So it's a bit darker here, just in case. And then I'm going to hopefully uh, reach temperature from last night, which was minus 15 degrees. Ah, ouch! Ice cream.
Well, let's see if this works. I'm not sure. Uh, right now, it's stuck at minus 7.5. So it's pretty cold around it, so I'm hoping it's going to work. I don't know. Come on. This is really cold, so. Why not? Alright, so I've been trying to cool down the camera all day uh, to minus 15 just so we can take some darks. And the only way I was able to do it, oh, see it's ready now, is with the fridge. So it's always a nice way to cool down your camera. Uh, the only scary part is in case you believe if there might be some condensation on it. So hopefully there will be no, no water or anything on the camera. But um, yeah, so I'm going to launch it right now. And here are the dogs. Alright, it's time to uh, stretch this image and see what we have. Wow, super nice. Super, super nice. So we have some uh, back focus problems on the edges. Um, but I might crop it out. And then we have some kind of reflection here. But there is no halo, so that's really nice. There is no halo. I'm relieved. My only concern is this reflection here, which I'm guessing is due to the back focus. Um, but yeah, anything else is perfect, so if we zoom in, it looks magnificent, amazing. So I'm going to work on this for the next few hours, and then um, I'm going to post the final result. Actually, here we go! So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, the Andromeda Galaxy, I had some issues um, bringing out the blues, so the blue colors. So I'm not really sure why, but um, overall it looks really nice. I just wish it was more blue. Um, besides that, uh, I really loved the image of the Pleiades. That is, uh, I think, 3.8 hours and it was, oh, it's so, so beautiful. Um, it is by far my favorite one of all the uh, Pleiades shots I have taken. And uh, yes, yeah, so we have both M31 and M45 captured. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys next time uh, in test, guys.